Okay, cool. So everything we, that we did so far was just to get you to a point where we can start actually making our own things, like actually using the tools we learned. And now that you know them, we're going to start doing some fun things. So like we're going to start making our own um, games um, with what we've learned. Um, so what I want you to do is to, if you, if you find this link um, on Google Classroom, copy it and, and, and go to it and you, you go to this Google Doc, click, click on this Google Doc and you're going to find this. Um, I want you to co uh, select all of it, copy it and put it on Replit and you're going to get this. Um, and we're going it, to, it's, this is, this is my example of a, a, a game. This a game that you can make based on what you know. Uh, so this is called a text adventure game and it's better if I just play it in order to show you how it works. So let's, let's just run this. Um, so it says it's fi Friday period five and you're stuck in math class. You're waiting for the clock to hit 3.20 PM so you can go home. You can either type run away to escape the classroom or you can type do nothing. What are you going to do? So I'm going to write run away, press enter. So now it says you get out of your chair and start walking to the door only to be stopped by Mr. Zane. He doesn't look too happy to see you. Type make up an excuse or go back to your chair. Uh, let's go back to your chair. Okay, press enter. You spend the rest of the class looking at the roof and end up accidentally falling asleep. Now you're locked in the classroom forever at the end. Oh, okay. So I, I guess in this situation, I didn't get a happy ending. So if we run it again, we can try different choices. So instead of write, uh, going, uh, typing run away here, maybe we could have written do nothing. And then it says, you sit and watch a couple more minutes of the lesson, but you start getting bored and feel like you need to get the hell out of there. You look at the clock and it's 3.15 PM. You can either type start a dance party in the classroom or type meditate. So you get a sense like it, it, there's a, there's a, um, it, it gives you choices and uh, of actions that you can take and then, um, Based on your actions, you, you create your own adventure. <clears throat> so um, what I want you to do is um, to uh, to pause the video and try this text adventure game that I wrote. Um, give it a try, have have a little bit of fun, and then um, come back come back to this video and unpause it uh, when you've had enough. <laughs> um, okay, go ahead and do that. All right, so you should you should have come back. You should have. Um, play the game a, a bit, got used to it, kind of un understand how it works. So um, what I want to tell you is that what uh, your project for this term is going to be to make one of these text adventures, um, make it make a really good one, hopefully. Um, and I want you to basically, I want to give you the freedom to make it the way you want it to be. Um, it could be any topic. It could be one about you at school. It could be one... Um, about what you do at home. It could be one of your passions. I don't know, whatever you want it to be, as long as it's appropriate. So as long as there's appropriate language and things that happen and are appropriate, then it's all good. Um, um, so I guess before I start, uh, before you start on your own um, text adventure game though, I have to explain how this works in order for you to be able to make your own. So let's go here and I'm going to explain how it works. So, um, before I, before I get into it, uh, I want to mention something. So can you guys see these gray lines here? You see these gray lines? What that's saying, what, what this is, is, it, is how, this is how Replit shows a tab. This is how Replit uh, um, uh, shows what a tab looks. It's, it's what a tab looks like in, in Replit. So for example, in this one, say it says, if answer equals equals run away, um, this gray line is saying all of this here can only happen if answer equals equals run away. All right. So um, it will become more clear when I get into it. So let's let's get into it. Um, so print. So it's, the first instruction is print this. So all it does is display. It's Friday period five and you're stuck in math class. You're waiting, blah, 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 blah. It says you can either type run away to escape the classroom or you can type do nothing. So say in this example, I write, I, I wrote do nothing um, and press enter. So do nothing goes in, uh, oh, sorry. That's not right. I, I don't type anything yet because it's just print. Um, 
Well, it's got a, a, a so so this just displays because it's it's just a print. It's not an input. So it, it displays that. Then we got a second one uh, instruction that says equals. We look to the left. It, it, it know the computer knows we're putting something inside the variable answer. It looks to the right, sees input, so it knows it's um the 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 computer knows that we're asking the person a question. So it looks inside the brackets to find out what question we're asking, and it says, "What are you going to do?" So that displays on the and um and then say for example, my answer is uh I don't know. Let's say I'm, in this one I write do nothing, and then I press enter. Then do nothing is going to go inside answer. Um, so when we go to the third instruction, it says if answer equals equals run away. So we know um, that we, we look at the gray line. We know that what this is saying is um, all of this only will happen if answer equals equals run away. And we know that um, whatever is inside answer is actually do nothing in this situation because that's what I wrote. So this doesn't happen. All of this doesn't happen. So let's skip all that and we go down to if answer equals equals do nothing. So this is the, th the ninth instruction. It says if answer equals equals do nothing. So it's saying um, we look at the gray line, and and it's and it's saying that all of this can only happen if answer equals equals do nothing, and it does. So then we go into this. Um, so the 10th the instruction says answer equals input. So um, the computer asks, uh, the computer displays this. You sit and watch a couple more minutes, blah, blah, blah. It says you can either type start a dance party in the classroom or type meditate. So for say I write meditate and press enter. Meditate will go into answer. Now we go to the 11th instruction. It sees we see if answer equals equals start a dance party in the classroom, we see the gray line. So we know this will only happen if answer equals equals start a dance party in the classroom. And we know it doesn't because we put meditate into, we, we wrote meditate. Um, we put meditate into answer, so this doesn't happen. Oh, wait, sorry. This doesn't happen. <laughs> So then we go into the 13th instruction. It says, if answer equals equals meditate, um, and we look at the gray line, we know all of this will only happen if answer equals equals meditate. Luckily it does. So let's go into here. The 14th instruction is another input. So it's asking, the, uh, it, it's, it's dis it displays you decide to meditate, blah, 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 blah. It says type either use the distraction to run out of the classroom or save your classmates. Say I wrote um, use, the distraction to blah 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 into answer. Um, okay, cool. And then we go to the 15th, 15th instruction. It says if answer equals equals use the distraction to run out of the classroom. So we know with the gray line that this will only happen if answer equals equals use the distraction to run out of the classroom. Um, and we know that it does because that's what we write. Um, so then we go into here, it says print, so we don't, it's just displaying this on the in the black box. It says you zoom past Mr. Zane and go for your bag, blah, 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 blah. Didn't work out too well, sorry, the end. So, um, okay, since it's a print, it's not, it's not uh, the computer is not, ask, uh, it's not asking the person a question. So that's all it does, it just displays this message. So then we go to 17th instruction, it says if answer equals equals save your classmates. Well, we know that um, whatever is inside answer is actually use the distraction to run out of the classroom, so it isn't true. So then we look here and, and uh, we look at the gray line and we know that um, uh, this will only happen. This will only happen if answer equals equals save your classmates. Um, and we know it doesn't. Uh, we know that use the distraction to blah, blah, blah is actually an answer, so this doesn't happen. And that's the end of um, that example. So that's that's kind of how um, this text adventure works. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to make up your own version of um, this text adventure. I want you to um, delete um, my answers and put in your own ones and create your own version of a text adventure. Um, if you have any questions, as usual, come up to me and ask me and I'll help you. But yeah, I mean, more than anything, have fun.
this is this is supposed to be the fun part of um, programming. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Have fun. <laughs>